सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर फाइव डेटा हैंडलिंग पेज नंबर एटी टू एक्सरसाइज फाइव पॉइंट टू वन अ सर्वे वॉज मेड टू फाइंड द टाइप ऑफ म्यूजिक दैट अ सर्टन ग्रुप ऑफ यंग पीपल लाइक्ड इन अ सिटी एट ज्वाइनिंग पाई चार्ट shows the findings of this survey from this pie chart answer the following 1 if 20 people liked classical music how many young people were surveyed 2 which type of music is liked by the maximum number of people 3 if a cassette company were to make 1000 cds how many of each type would they make here we have a pie chart light represents 40% folk 30% semi classical 20% classical 10% 2 a group of 360 people were asked to vote for their favorite season from the three seasons rainy winter and summer 1 which season got the most votes 2 find the central angle of each sector 3 draw a pie chart to show this information here we have a table with two columns column 1 represents season column 2 represents number of votes summer 90 rainy 120 winter 150 3 draw a pie chart showing the following information the table shows the colors preferred by a group of people column 1 represents colors column 2 represents number of people blue 18 green 9 red 6 yellow 3 total 36 find the proportion of each sector for example blue is 18 by 36 which is equal to 1 by 2 green is 9 by 36 which is equal to 1 by 4 and so on use this to find the corresponding angles 4 the adjoining pie chart gives the marks scored in an examination by a student in hindi english mathematics social science and science if the total marks obtained by the students were 540 answer the following questions 1 in which subject did the student score 105 marks hint for 540 marks the central angle is equal to 360 degree so for 105 marks what is the central angle 2 how many more marks were obtained by the student in mathematics than in hindi 3 examine whether the sum of the marks obtained in social science and mathematics is more than that in science and hindi hint just study the central angles here we have a pie chart mathematics is 90 degrees social science 65 degrees science 80 degrees hindi 70 degrees english 55 degrees page number 83 5 the number of students in a hostel speaking different languages is given below display the data in a pie chart the row 1 represents language row 2 represents number of students hindi 40 english 12 marathi 9 tamil 7 bengali 4 total 72 5.5 chance and probability sometimes it happens that during rainy season you carry a raincoat every day and it does not rain for many days however by chance one day you forget to take the raincoat and it rains heavily on that day sometimes it so happens that a student prepares four chapters out of five very well for a test but a major question is asked from the chapter that she left unprepared everyone knows that a particular train runs in time but the day you reach well in time it is late 
you face a lot of situations such as these where you take a chance and it does not go the way you want it to. Can you give some more examples? These are examples where the chances of a certain thing happening or not happening are not equal. The chances of the train being in time or being late are not the same. When you buy a ticket which is waitlisted, you do take a chance. You hope that it might get confirmed by the time you travel. We, however, consider here certain experiments whose results have an equal chance of occurring. 5.5.1 Getting a result You might have seen that before a cricket match starts, captains of the two teams go out to toss a coin to decide which team will bat first. What are the possible results you get when a coin is tossed? Of course, head or tail. Imagine that you are the captain of one team and your friend is the captain of the other team. You toss a coin and ask your friend to make the call. Can you control the result of the toss? Can you get a head if you want one or a tail if you want that? No, that is not possible. Such an experiment is called a random experiment. Head or tail are the two outcomes in this experiment. Try these. 1. If you try to start a scooter, what are the possible outcomes? 2. When a die is thrown, what are the six possible outcomes? Page number 84. 3. When you spin the wheel made here, what are the possible outcomes? You can observe the wheel in figure 5.9. List them. Outcome here means the sector at which the pointer stops. 5.9 Here we have a circle with three sectors A, B and C. The needle is pointing towards the A sector. Figure 5.9 Here we have a vessel. In this vessel we have five circles with five letters W, R, B, G, Y. R and Y circles are of white color. W, G and B circles are of grey colour. 4. You have a bag with 5 identical balls of different colours and you are to pull out or draw a ball without looking at it. List the outcomes you would get. Observe figure 5.10. Think, discuss and write. In throwing a die, 1. Does the first player have a greater chance of getting a 6? 2. Would the player who played after him have a lesser chance of getting a 6? 3. Suppose the second player got a 6. Does it mean that the third player would not have a chance of getting a 6? 5.5.2 Equally likely outcomes A coin is tossed several times and the number of times we get head or tail is noted. Let us look at the result sheet where we keep on increasing the tosses. Here, we have a table with five columns. Number of tosses, tally marks for heads, number of heads, tally marks for tails, number of tails, number of tosses, 50. Then, we have five times four standing lines crossed by a diagonal line along with two standing lines. Number of heads, 27. After that, we have four times four standing lines crossed by a diagonal line along with three standing lines. Number of tails, 23. Number of tosses, 60. Then we have five times four standing lines crossed by a diagonal line along with three standing lines. Number of heads, 28. Then we have six times four standing lines crossed by a diagonal line along with two standing lines. Number of tails, 32. After that, number of tosses, 70. Tally marks, dash. Number of heads, 33. 
tally marks dash number of tails 37 after that number of tosses 80 tally marks dash number of heads 38 tally marks dash number of tails 42 after that number of tosses 90 tally marks dash number of heads 44 tally marks dash number of tails 46 after that number of tosses 100 tally marks dash number of heads 48 tally marks dash number of tails 52 page number 85 observe that as you increase the number of tosses more and more the number of heads and the number of tails come closer and closer to each other this could also be done with a die when tossed a large number of times number of each of the six outcomes becomes almost equal to each other in such cases we may say that the different outcomes of the experiment are equally likely this means that each of the outcomes has the same chance of occurring here we have an image of a coin the coin is looking sad it is saying i could fall like this or get lost then we have a dice the dice is looking sad it is thinking i could land like this against the wall then we have happy images of dice and coin they are saying do not worry such cases will not be considered as the possibility is very small 5.5.3 linking chances to probability consider the experiment of tossing a coin once what are the outcomes there are only two outcomes head or tail both the outcomes are equally likely likelihood of getting a head is one out of two outcomes that is one by two in other words we say that the probability of getting a head is equal to one by two what is the probability of getting a tail now take the example of throwing a die marked with one two three four five six on its faces one number on one face if you throw it once what are the outcomes the outcomes are one two three four five six thus there are six equally likely outcomes what is the probability of getting the outcome two it is one by six one is the number of outcomes giving two six is number of equally likely outcomes what is the probability of getting the number five what is the probability of getting the number seven what is the probability of getting a number one through six 5.5.4 outcomes as events each outcome of an experiment or a collection of outcomes makes an event for example in the experiment of tossing a coin getting a head is an event and getting a tail is also an event in case of throwing a die getting each of the outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 is an event page number 86 is getting an even number an event since an even number could be 2 4 or 6 getting an even number is also an event what will be the probability of getting an even number it is 3 by 6 3 number of outcomes that make the event 6 total number of outcomes of the experiment example 3 a bag has four red balls and two yellow balls the balls are identical in all respects other than color a ball is drawn from the bag without looking into the bag what is the probability of getting a red ball is it more or less than getting a yellow ball solution there are in all 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 outcomes of the event getting a red ball consists of 4 outcomes why 
Therefore, the probability of getting a red ball is 4 by 6, which is equal to 2 by 3. In the same way, the probability of getting a yellow ball is equal to 2 by 6, is equal to 1 by 3. Why? Therefore, the probability of getting a red ball is more than that of getting a yellow ball. Try these. Suppose you spin the wheel. 1 1 List the number of outcomes of getting a green sector and not getting a green sector on this wheel you can observe in figure 5.11. Figure 5.11 Here, we have a circle divided into G and R. In the clockwise direction, we can read this as G, R, G, 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 R, G, R. The needle is pointing towards the first G. 2. Find the probability of getting a green sector. 3. Find the probability of not getting a green sector. 5.5.5 Chance and probability related to real life. We talk about the chance that it rains just on the day when we do not carry a raincoat. What could you say about the chance in terms of probability? Could it be 1 in 10 days during a rainy season? The probability that it rains is then 1 by 10. The probability that it does not rain is equal to 9 by 10, assuming raining or not raining on a day are equally likely. The use of probability is made in various cases in real life. 1. To find characteristics of a large group by using a small part of the group. For example, during elections, an exit poll is taken. This involves asking the people whom they have voted for, when they come out after voting at the centres which are chosen offhand and distributed over the whole area. This gives an idea of chance of winning of each candidate and predictions are made based on it accordingly. Here, we have an image of few children looking at a box. Page number 87 2. Meteorological department predicts weather by observing trends from the data over many years in the past. Exercise 5.3 1. List the outcomes you can see in these experiments. A. Spinning a wheel. B. Tossing two coins together. Here, we have an image of a circle divided into A, B, C, D. In the clockwise direction, it can be read as B, C, D, A, A. The needle is pointing towards B. 2. When a die is thrown, list the outcomes of an event of getting 1. A. A prime number B. Not a prime number 2. A. A number greater than 5 B. A number not greater than 5. 3. Find the A. Probability of the pointer stopping on D in question 1A. B. Probability of getting an ace from a well shuffled deck of 52 playing cards. C. Probability of getting a red apple. Observe the figure below. Here we have few apples. They are of green and red color. There are three apples of green color and four apples of red color. 4. Numbers 1 to 10 are written on 10 separate slips. One number on one slip, kept in a box and mixed well. One slip is chosen from the box without looking into it. What is the probability of? 1. Getting a number 6. 2. Getting a number less than 6. 3. Getting a number greater than 6. 4. Getting a one digit number. 5. If you have a spinning wheel with three green sectors, one blue sector, and one red sector, what is the probability of getting a green sector? 
What is the probability of getting a non-blue sector? 6. Find the probabilities of the events given in question 2. What have we discussed? 1. Data mostly available to us in an unorganized form is called raw data. 2. In order to draw meaningful inferences from any data, we need to organize the data systematically. Page number 88. 3. Frequency gives the number of times that a particular entry occurs. 4. Raw data can be grouped and presented systematically through grouped frequency distribution. 5. Grouped data can be presented using histogram. Histogram is a type of bar diagram where the class intervals are shown on the horizontal axis and the heights of the bars show the frequency of the class interval. Also, there is no gap between the bars as there is no gap between the class intervals. 6. Data can also be presented using circle graph or pie chart. A circle graph shows the relation between a whole and its part. 7. There are certain experiments whose outcomes have an equal chance of occurring. 8. A random experiment is one whose outcome cannot be predicted exactly in advance. 9. Outcomes of an experiment are equally likely if each has the same chance of occurring. 10. Probability of an event is equal to number of outcomes that make an event divided by total number of outcomes of the experiment when the outcomes are equally likely. 11. One or more outcomes of an experiment make an event. 12. Chances and probability are related to real life. Here, we have an image of a boy and a girl reading books. This chapter ends here. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And this program is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India